Okay, hi guys. So I um, went to do a video last night for you of my items that have arrived for my Cloud9 set. Unfortunately, I made it a little bit too long for the YouTube, so I'm just going to do it again. So I have already tested them out once, these products, but only once. I haven't done anything else with them, so it's almost like starting afresh for me. So um, <clears throat> now, so far in my set, I've received um, the shadow palette number one. So it's the um, the brown tones with the golds, um, which I love. It's um, really nice neutral colors that are going to be really good for my pale skin tone and um, my brown eyes. So um, now, if you get the Cloud9 set, you also receive at the moment, at it's limited time only, the Unique Eye Primer for free. So I've never used eye primer before. Um, I did a little test with it last night, but it wasn't like a, you know, keeping it on sort of thing. I did the demo and then that was it. So um, I'm excited to actually put it on for a day. I don't usually wear eyeshadow during the day um, for work, but I'm kind of keen to try it just to give it a go. So as you all know, Spike likes to join in my videos, so he's popping in with his koala to say hello. Okay, bye, Spiky. Um, now, I also received um, the uh, eyebrow um, items. So that's the Precision Brow Liner, and I got it in the dark. Um, so if you can see here, there's a bit of a band. It shows it's the dark brown. Um, and the um, gel for the brow gel. So I've never used brow gel other than like a clear one just to set it in place um, and I find it sort of goes a little bit crusty by the end of the day so when I tested this one out last night it didn't it's a really nice brown it's um, just sort of holds it in place but also adds a little bit of depth to the brows at the same time so as you can see I've got no makeup other than my mas uh, mascara on right now um, I've just cleaned off my face so this is what my brows look like on a day-to-day -day basis um, pretty terrible so it's good to you know try out new things for the brows to see what I can get that's gonna make them you know look good for once so I also received my unique lipstick now anybody who knows me knows that any sort of a red and I'm set like I love a red a dark red a blue red something that's just bold you know, I really like my bold colors so this one's called stinking rich and as you can see it is just an absolutely gorgeous deep red now it's not really showing up as well there it's a little bit there it's a, a blue red um, which is really good if you want to have um, your teeth looking a little bit whiter and brighter um, it brightens up the complexion a little bit as well so it's a really good color you know it's a quality lipstick if you've got one that has that blue red to it it's perfect when I used it last night I was stoked like I didn't do anything else but just put it on good whacking of it looked great loved it so um, what I'm going to start off with is um, I'll put a bit of the eye primer on and then while I'm letting that set I'm going to do my brows. So the eye primer is in a really nice sort of a, um, a brownie colour as well so it's um, not going to set and leave a, a colour to your eye so if you don't get all of it covered you're going to see it through so I really like that about it. It's actually a really nice neutral tone so... Uh, let's pop a bit of that on and you don't need much I mean eyelids aren't huge anyway so you don't need much to cover them so while that's setting I'm gonna get the eyebrow pencil first so you've got the pencil end down this end and then you've got the brush down the other end to help with it so I've always been told short sharp strikes to um, get that natural hair look to it so Let's give this a go. Now I'm just going to do a little bit of a rough line. It would be better if Spike wasn't interrupting. Okay, I just currently use a, a powder. Um, it's not the best because the colours aren't um, exactly suited to me. It was just a cheapie that I got online. So... Um, it's good to actually use something that's set and you know made with quality and um, 
more set for somebody like me with dark brows. So I unfortunately had a bad experience when I was younger getting my brows done professionally for the first time. And since then, I've sort of plucked them and destroyed them a little bit. So as you can see there, that's just one quickly filled in. I'll just get that little spot there. What I'm loving about this is that I'm filling in that awful little gap that I've got that makes it look a little bit Ronald McDonald-y to me. Um, and normally when I do that with my powders or gel, it, um, it shows up really quickly that that's what I've done. Like you can see that it's actually just been colored in with this. It's not that obvious. Like I can't even see it. And that's what I, I'm really liking that. So it's got a little bit more there. And I can sort of get a little bit of an arch. So I might just do the one, just so you can see the difference. Because um, it's really showing up that there is a big difference between the brows. Like, it's a much more defined and even-looking brow for my face. Because they're not really even <laughs> after years of plucking the life out of them. So. Wow. There we go. So, um, you can see there, that's... A really good difference like covering up that that's a nice defined brow and then there's that that's just nothing so um I'm loving the brow products so it's really good you know the full face of makeup my brows sort of disappear and I always get excited when I can do something with them and make them you know stand out cause your brows change your face if you've got good brows you've got good face so um, now that the eye primer has dried, I'm um, I'm going to um, use my Addiction palette. So I've got the palette with the brown, uh, sorry, with the the blacks and the charcoals and silvers at the moment. Um, so I was very excited to try the browns. So we've got colours called um, Elated, some Sincere, Brassy, Chipper, Swanky, Forthright, and Zealous. So I'm kind of loving them. They're really nice colors that I think you could use day or night and they'd look great. So um, last night I tried Brassy with Chipper. So I might try um, Sincere with a bit of Forthright and maybe a little bit of Zealous as well. So I might do the same again and just do it on the one eye so you can see the difference. To ignore the fact I can't actually wink so doing um, <laughs> eyeshadow looks a bit funny when I'm doing it so sorry um, so I might go a little bit of zealous it's a really lovely dark chocolate with like sparkles in it it's gorgeous actually it'll make a really nice if you wanted to go with a, a slightly more subtle smoky eye that would actually go really well Just bring it in there a little bit more and into the crease. I might get a little bit of brassy in there just to tone in the middle. Boom. Alright. I'm making a mess on myself. <laughs> it's hard when you've um, taken off your makeup because I normally have a little bit of base there to hold everything in place under my eye. Alright. I've got a little bit of forthright in there just to darken up the crease because I like a nice dark crease. Boom! Alright. And then I always like to get a little bit of the lightest colour, especially if it's got a bit of a sparkle to it, and into the corner of the eye. And then you can sometimes just drag it out a little bit to join up the under eye. So you get that depth to it there. So you can see there. Um, so got the colour streaking across. So... They're nice and subtle, it's not too strong, um, 
which is good and I could darken them up if I wanted to go with a darker smoky eye, add a little bit of the liner and things like that. Look great. So yeah, loving the new palette. It's great. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do next is use the amazing stinking rich lipstick. So I'll put it on, um, obviously I'm not going to do the half a lip because that's just difficult. So I'll put it on the whole and uh, show you why I'm in love with the color. Alright, I do like a lip liner normally, but I don't have the lip liner from Unique, so I'm just going to go straight on with the lipstick. Just tilt my mirror. Okay, so that's just one coat of the lipstick. I can imagine if I had the lip liner on with it and did the blotting, did it all properly, that would be amazing. So I'll just pick you up and bring you up a bit closer so you can see in the light. So it's just a fabulous looking red. Like, that's just gorgeous. I'm loving it. So I can't wait to try it all with the foundation. Um, as a lot of you know, it's been so popular that it's actually back ordered, which shows how amazing it can be. So um, have a look at my page. It's www.uniqueproducts.com um, forward slash Laura Salan, all one word with the capital L. Um, and um, shop my party, have a look. Um, if you're local, let me know. Um, just message me on Facebook. I am keeping some stock, especially things like the mascara because it is such a popular product. Um, I wanna keep some in stock. So if anybody wants to buy some direct and not have to wait for it to be shipped, I've got it on hand. So I'm just waiting for the first order to turn up. And I also have samples. So if you're ever wanting to try anything out, just let me know and um, I can organize a one-on-one -on -one and um, yeah, so keep watching my videos. Um, I'm sure there'll be more to come. Loving the products, loving the work, loving it all. So thanks for watching. Bye guys.